Hi, Dan Erke from DT Systems Dog Training Equipment here at Green Acre Sportsman's Club with DT the Dog. And today's discussion uh, will be about uh, getting your dog used to water. If you have a retriever, obviously the water is going to be a huge part of the dog's life. So the first step here, guys, is not to rush your dog into the water. Now, DT was born uh, such that he was, all of his puppyhood was generally in the wintertime months. And so putting him in the water made no sense. So we've waited till late spring here. It's nice out. Um, the water temperature is uh, probably around 70 degrees. And so the water's gonna feel really, really good to the dog. And one good rule of thumb is the water temperature plus the air temperature should be approximately 100 degrees or more. If not, you probably shouldn't be putting your dog in the water. And uh, there's nothing wrong with waiting until your dog's a little bit bigger or older to get him in the water. The best way to get your dog introduced to water is actually not doing retrieving work. Um, if you attempt to do a retrieve into the water for the first time and their dog has a bad association with the water for one, re one reason or another, then they're going to have a bad association with retrieving. So give them plenty of time to be around the water before you start to do retrieving into the water. In fact, it's best if they actually learn how to swim before you ever throw a bumper in the water. Um, how can you do that? Well, uh, I've got waders on here. I'm going to walk into the water and allow the dog to follow me. And we're never going to put any pressure on the dog to get in. So putting the dog in a scenario where the water is an attractive feature, like a nice day like today, where it's about 80 degrees, the water temperature is about 70, that water is going to feel good to the dog. So I'm just going to go ahead and walk into the water here and allow him to follow me if he wants to. Come on, DT. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to give the dog. I'm going to give the dog plenty of time to get used to the water. If he wants to get a drink, like now, that's great. Um, you know, you can, you can, don't rush the dog. And if it takes, you know, getting yourself on a cell phone and talking to a buddy and letting the dog just walk around, do it. And uh, give him many exposures like this before um, attempting to get the dog to swim. Um, it's about creating a positive, just like everything else, every other methodology we have, we want a positive association. We also have the e-collar on. Now I have a, a DT Systems Micro IDT collar on the dog. And the reason we've got it on him is just to show you um, how well this particular unit fits on a smaller dog. Um, as DT gets a little bigger, you'll see me use the H2O series collar. It's a little larger unit uh, meant for 